Elton John is back with a five out of five album. I'm John Bowden from the Aircom Radio Network and Rock History Book. It's not only Elton John Day in here, it seems to be happening everywhere. His new album has finally dropped. Wonderful Crazy Night is his 33rd project. And the release seems poignant considering how many rock stars we've lost in the last few months, especially in the last few weeks. Elton is still here partly because of some good luck and decisions he's made, a few missteps on and off the record, and in the end, I always say it's not how you fall down, it's how you get up. Getting those lessons is not lost on Elton John. And that's really what I heard on this album. He told Matt Lauer on the Today Show that it's amazing what things unfold if you just let them unfold and take those risks. He added, at 69, I'm playing and singing better than I ever did. He is. I've already reviewed the first single on another video if you want to check that out. In December, the title track was released as another teaser. Elton John promised Southern rock and roll and you get it right off the bat with the first track. In the Name of You brought me back to Don't Chew Me, I'm Only the Piano Player. From the melody, the keyboard hook, but mostly Elton's voice. There is a spark there. And you know what it is? It's excitement, it's optimism. The tune Clawhammer has this mysterious, delicious piano extra. I was really surprised by it because just when you think you've got the song, comes this little surprise. It's very subtle, I just wish it was longer. Blue Wonderful is the third single off the project and in the beginning Elton almost whisper talks the words. His whisper soft singing just works for this song. The search to teach the right thing is almost autobiographical on I've Got Two Wings. It really reminded me of those 50, 60 album cuts from older Elton John albums that sounded as good as the hits. Also, get the deluxe edition. There's an up-tempo track that's a bonus track called England and America, which really reminded me of Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, where Nigel and Davey and Dee were singing background. A lot of doo-wop stuff happening here. This is the first album since The Captain and the Kid from 2006, which featured the core Elton John band that recorded so many of those hits in the 70s. Guitarist David Johnstone, who joined Elton John on Mad Men Across the Water in 71. Percussionist Ray Cooper is back. His first appearance was on 1972's Hunky Chateau. And then there's Nigel Olsen, who has been there since the beginning, 1969 with Empty Sky. Though he was on and off in the 80s and 90s a few times, Nigel is known as the quintessential Elton John drummer. Special mentions to Roger Pope, who we lost in 2013. And if bassist Dee Murray was still alive, you know he'd be on this album. He died in 1992. At one point in the mid-60s, Elton John says he would have been happy working in a record store. Now, with 37 gold and 27 platinum albums, his partnership with lyricist Bernie Taupin is not only set to continue, but they're kind of on top of their game right now. I really thought this phase of Elton's career had reached its plateau with the very reflective The Diving Board, which came out in 2013. But he may have many more albums in him. We all know it, Elton John will never score the hits he had in the 70s, that wouldn't make any sense. But there's something about this current, excited, plugged in, very alive and healthy Elton John that I love. I give Wonderful Crazy Night 5 out of 5. This is a perfect album. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Book and the Aircom Radio Network.